what is the relationship between MS and mood swings? I think that's different for everybody. And, you know, we have brain changes that cause mood swings, but like the more in-depth answer to that question is more for like well-suited for neurologist. Um, so I'm not the one who can give you a whole big sciencey kind of comprehensive answer on that. But I'll say as someone who has MS herself and experiences lots of mood swings herself, I can definitely tell you that they're really difficult to manage. They come on like a freight train. And I'm wondering sometimes, and this is just my own little side conjecture here, if being a female can be part of it too. And with our, our like hormones and estrogen and all that kind of stuff coming into play, that that can definitely exacerbate mood swings that we would experience anyway. Mood swings come with depression sometimes and, and anxiety. So that could all be tied together. But yeah, that's, that's my well, opinion. That, to me, that was a good question. <laughs> yeah, that's a very good question. What causes brain fog? I, that's another good question. That was another one that I was going to like pump the ball on and kick that <laughs> to the neurologist. <laughs> I mean, they'll have it one time or the other, but it's like, what? They'll get it, but I don't know exactly like how, like, you know, physiologically what happens to cause that. So I'm not, I don't know, but we always get, we get the brain fog and that's like very difficult to deal with because it's, you know, you're, it's like you're, you're walking through mud. You're just trying to figure stuff out every day. And why am I feeling this way? Am I, why am I not as sharp as I could be? And so it's really frustrating. And there are medications to help with it. I don't know if those medications don't ask me about medications, but there are those. So ask your neurologist or neuropsychologist. <laughs>